What is up guys, Digital VFX here once again, and today I have a tutorial on very basic mixing in uh, Virtual DJ. This is a free program for the first 100 days or something like that, or it might even be free uh, for good, I'm not sure. But I know it's free, um, you just go to the website and you can get the version. It's a very, very basic program, and it's uh, good for a lot of beginners to get into it before they start using Tractor or Serato. And uh, I personally use Tractor, and I have a Tractor Control, or you can get a uh, mix track, uh, or a Newmark mix track, which is good with uh, Serato or Virtual DJ. But um, this is just a basic program to get you into the feel of how to mix. And uh, so I'm going to be teaching you uh, two techniques on Virtual DJ. One is going to be... Uh, how to mix the buildup of one song to the drop of another because uh, that's a good it's a good um, technique to how uh, to, to get people going in the club if you're playing a show they um, they like to be faked out when they think it's gonna be the drop of one song and then they hear the drop of another song and uh, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that I'm also gonna be teaching you how to um, just kind of blend one song into another so you'll hear uh, uh, I'm just using my computer right now, so uh, for those of you who don't have a uh, controller, a DJ controller on hand, um, I would recommend picking one up. Uh, you can get them fairly inexpensively for about $100 to $150 uh, for a very basic one with not a lot of effects or anything. But uh, you can uh, just use your computer and just mouse clicking. It's, it's a little bit more difficult, but, but uh, it will do the work. So you want to select your folder where you keep your songs. I'm going to be mixing Animals, everyone knows that song. Drag it up onto the uh, to the scratcher. The vinyl, I guess. It's not really vinyl, but you know what I mean. Um, then to Loose, another one. As you can see, uh, all these songs are up here. You can move them around. Uh, you basically select on here which one you want to uh, be able to drag. So if I select the blue one, I, I can move around animals. Select the uh, red one, you can move around Toulouse. Um, if you notice with a lot of... Um, something happened with Toulouse. So something happens and sometimes it won't really load. I don't know why, but um, it'll load all the way if you keep playing it. So um, so maybe I can mute that and For some reason the Q said here. Well, they'll get the work done very slowly. I don't know why it's uh, not loading all the way. It's really weird. Oh, that'll actually do it. That's really weird. I don't know why it's doing that, but um, I'll just do this to load the whole track. Uh, cause I need to know. Um, need to know where cute good cue points are. All right, so there we go, now it's in. So now I have it at the, uh, where I want it. So as you can see down here, um, there are dots corresponding to the beats. The peaks are um, where uh, there's a kick or a downbeat. So as you can see uh, right here, it'll, on the red track, it'll be one. So this is beat one, two, three, Four. All EDM songs are most songs ever made are based on a four-four time, uh, especially in electronic. So you'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and that's how uh, DJs keep their time. So uh, that's how they sync a lot of their tracks up. You'll notice a lot in EDM is if you buy the full version of a song. Obviously, the radio edit doesn't have it. If you buy the full version of the song, uh, they generally have. Uh, 16 or 32 measures of just kick and that's used for uh, for syncing uh, songs. So first I'm going to show you how to sync songs. So if I go to the end of uh, Toulouse, I start playing this. 
Actually, let me start by explaining. Uh, right here you have your play and pause button. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Right here you have the mixer where you can uh, where you can um, move it to scroll. I like to just uh, scroll on my mouse. Um, here is your mixer for high and low frequencies. Uh, you generally don't want to have bass on top of bass, so it's nice for whichever song you want to kick in the bass, you uh, turn the bass down and then kind of move it up uh, when you're mixing. But um, that is a little difficult on a computer. Uh, that's why you want to have a controller, so you can kind of uh, simultaneously turn one down while one's going up. So uh, at the end of here, after the drop... So you'll see right there, it'll be a kick, and then you want to go to a uh, beginning of here. You can set a cue point. So if I go set the blue here, I can move animals to the first beat, and you can right click on the hot cue, and it'll set a cue point right there. So pretty much what I can do is, um, well, Toulouse is playing right now. So that's playing, I'm going to wait till the second uh, spot right there where it starts. And you can count one, two, three, four in your head. One, two, three, four. You can actually put all of it to loose. And you can press sync, uh, that will sync up the beats. And now I can slowly fade to loose into animals. That is how to uh, mix two songs together. You'll notice uh, why I said I was waiting till the second time right here when um, when Toulouse goes uh, to the second round of kicks because right here is 16, I believe. I believe it's either 16 or 32 measures, but that's the perfect time from uh, the kick in Animals to get to the bass. So it's kind of this cool effect right here where, um, where Toulouse will play at the end and it has a sweep noise and when it goes on the downbeat at the end of the sweep noise, that's when the bass kicks in on Toulouse. So I can, uh, I already have the cue point set for uh, this. I can play it one more time. it in my head and I press the Q point and it automatically start on there. I can press sync and it will sync to the closest beat. So you have to be pretty on time, but it won't kill you if you're not. Okay, so now it's building up. And it's got this and uh, I can start turning down the uh, base of Toulouse. And I can start uh, queuing in animals. You hear it coming. And here comes the base. With the controller and a lot of practice, that will be very easy to do, and it will sound great. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, oh, you also want to have uh, the same key. I'm lucky that Toulouse, um, they're very close. You can also refer to um, the Camelot Circle or whatever it's called. You know this if you're if you're into mixing. You can also use a program called uh, Mixed in Key. Um, which is it's a pretty cheap program and it uh, does wonders for DJs. A, a lot of professional DJs use it. It's a must-have. It uh, tells you which songs are uh, are go with each other with the anharmonics. So um, another thing to do that I was gonna tell you I was gonna do is uh, show you how to mix the drop of one song with the buildup of another song. Um, and with the pitches, sometimes uh, the songs will get messed up. Uh, I'm pretty sure both songs are F sharp major or F major, but it says this is an F sharp major. It could be a misreading by the file 
probably because it got messed up because uh, this is a very basic program it does work but sometimes like you saw it does happen or right, that where it just misreads a file um, to get rid of that just use a professional program like Serato or tractor and that that will really never happen um, so uh, anyway you can go if you really don't know cue points um, or how many measures you can kinda count so you can go play animals One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can just count like that. And uh, you can find out how many beats. Um, so I'm going to put a cue point at the end of this big sweep. Right there. Put a cue point there. Okay, and the buildup for the Toulouse starts right. So the distance from, I believe, the distance from the drop, which is right here, to um, right here is the same distance from this uh, from my cue point to the drop of animals so I'm gonna want to put so I'm gonna set a cue point there so they're the same See, what's tricky about what I found out about Toulouse is that it's a little bit mixed up. Um, the cue points aren't exactly the same, so it's a little bit harder to uh, sync it, because normally what you what they would be is they'd each be on the same beat, but uh, Toulouse is half a measure too fast, so you'll be on beat 3 with Toulouse with beat 1 of Animals, so it's just something you got to pay attention to in songs. <laughs> So right there is where I want my cue point to be. And it's on the, the fourth beat. Well, actually, if you go over to Animals and you scroll a little bit, it's on the first beat of Animals and the third beat of Toulouse. So that's something you got to look out for. So I'm going to try my best because I have practiced this before, and it does get ha one beat behind because of how difficult it is to sync. So I'm going to try to do the best I can. It also helps instead of uh, pressing Q down here to press hot Q. Uh, that helps me out a little bit. So let me try this. And I think I got it. We'll see when I master, or when I get to the end. I just realized that the cue points were way off. So this is that was my fault. Um, what I wanted animals to be is right there. Okay, so let me try this again. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I got it that time. I thought this was the drop rather than up here. And I think I got the cue points right. And here comes the build up and you're gonna slowly fade to loose into animals.
and as this is playing, as long as you didn't press pause, uh, they are still in sync, and since they have about the same, uh, since the same amount of measure, and you can kind of switch back very quickly, and they're in the exact same spot in the song, and, uh, Pause that. You'll find out that a lot of producers kind of do that, so their songs are easy to mix with other songs. Um, I know Hardwell does it a lot. They they add a, um, the same amount of kicks, so uh, other producers can mix their music into their set uh, without any difficulties. So uh, I hope this helped. This was just a very basic. Um, and I'm sorry it didn't go exactly how I planned, but but um, I think I did a pretty good job explaining how to do it. Um, so you have a basic understanding of how to mix and I know there are more in-depth videos and I'm going to be getting to that later but this was just a basic how to blend two songs together um, so they so they don't really clash um, so pretty much key points is uh, pay attention to the BPM BPM is important you don't want a, uh, a really slow song with a 128 um, they'll just mess up the pitch you uh, also want to make sure you're counting and that's why you always see DJs nodding their head because they're keeping the beat and they have to keep steady and you want to pay attention to make sure they're in the same key or if they're not that you refer to this uh, Camelot sound uh, easy mix system and this has been a digital video FX production and thanks for watching